if suddenly supposing uh, a boulder drops okay right in front of the train then i'm sorry even kavach will not be effective if an obstruction happens suddenly in front of a moving train which is moving at a distance speed of 130 kmph then i don't think there is any technology in the world which can prevent this kind of a situation it is something like a rock dropping suddenly in front of a very fast moving object uh, kavach is an excellent anti collision device and it will prevent two trains to come and hit each other if they are moving on the same track uh, ek uh, kavach ke bare mein bhi main aap logon ko sabko samjhana chahungi ki sabse pehli cheez uh, jo ki we should be proud of कि ये एक इंडिजिनस डेवलपमेंट है ये भारत का अपना बनाया हुआ सिस्टम है जो कि एक एंटी कोलिजन सिस्टम है वी आर वेरी वेरी प्राउड ऑफ दिस एंड वी होप दैट टुमारो वी विल बी एबल टू एक्सपोर्ट इट टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पहली चीज दूसरी चीज चूंकि ये एक इंडिजिनस सिस्टम है और ये सेफ्टी रिलेटेड है और ये ट्रेन्स की सेफ्टी जिसमें कि लोग आते जाते हैं माल आता जाता है इसलिए इसकी टेस्टिंग बहुत रिग्रेस होती है इसमें हमने हर तरह की टेस्टिंग करी है और जब हम लोग इससे सेटिस्फाई हो गए कि ये बिल्कुल ठीक है और खरा है और ये सेफ है इसमें इस लेवल की टेस्टिंग की गई कि मंत्री जी खुद उसमें ट्रेन में चले और दूसरे डायरेक्शन से एक और ट्रेन लाई गई और ये चला के देखा गया कि फुल स्पीड पर भी गाड़ी पर ब्रेक लगता है so that is the level of testing we have done that is the level of involvement that has been there at even the topmost level after we were satisfied that this is now a technology that we can proliferate all over the country then let me explain that what does it involve it involves uh, putting this these devices all along every single track of indian railways and i hope you people know how many kilometers of track does indian railway have okay so physically putting these devices along the track is going to take a time take some time we need some time secondly every single locomotive has to be equipped to read the signals from those devices so we own more than 8000 locomotives which are running every single locomotive has to be equipped with this equipment fourthly it costs money so what has been done because we know that this is a device that we need on top priority to make safe uh, uh, rail journey safe it has been sanctioned as a priority work on indian railways the money has been sanctioned and it has been made available in the budget kitna amount hai can we share the amount 13000 crore for 34000 route kilometers so, so first we decided that we will identify priority high speed sections and for that alone uh, more than 13000 crore has been sanctioned for proliferation then comes the question of having the production cap capacity to produce this indigenously as, as i have explained it to you this is an indigenous development and we are we are very very proud of it so to have that kind of equipment production capacity in our own country we need a little more time so our vendors are not in position our production units our pro producers our market our industry is gearing up to produce and supply as much as indian railway needs so that will also take a little while so kavach is there it is on a roll out everything to make sure that it is rolled out at the fastest pace possible is there but you must understand the quantum of the work involved and the quantum of the uh, money needed and the way the industry is supposed to respond and react and generate the equipment that is required to be placed in uh, all along the track and on the locomotives then then what does kavach do in this particular situation what could have kavach done had kavach been here it would have been on the locomotive it would have been on the track now from what we understand what happened uh, this locomotive uh, if even if it went on a wrong route and it found that the track ahead was occupied 
it had only barely uh, maybe uh, 200 100 meters to go before that obstruction was to come so even if the uh, kavach would have applied brakes on detecting that the route ahead is obstructed it uh, for a train moving at 130 kmph the braking distance is about 600 meters so it went and it would have gone and hit a 100 meter obstruction it is expected that it will understand the obstruction at a sufficient distance but in this particular case because the route was set for the main line which was not <coughs> obstructed the system would not have reacted to it because it would not have got the input that there is a uh, there is a, an obstruction ahead only after it was about to hit that it could have reacted so there is an obstruction straight ahead by a visual mechanism so in this particular scenario where the reaction time was so short and the and the distance was so short and the speed was so high it was just a question of a few seconds before it went and hit an obstruction if it went and hit an obstruction see in kavach i would like to qualify that remark of yours that in this case where the route ahead was clearly uh, unobstructed kavach would have also followed that logic and not applied the brake however if suddenly supposing uh, a boulder drops okay right in front of the train then i'm sorry even kavach will not be effective it is something like that so that if an obstruction happens suddenly in front of a moving train which is moving at a distance speed of 130 kmph then i don't think there is any technology in the world which can prevent this kind of a situation so it is something like a rock dropping suddenly in front of a very fast moving object so that is the reason otherwise let me again confirm to you that in in a normal scenario where, where the way trains are supposed to move uh, kavach is an excellent anti collision device and it will prevent two trains to come and hit each other if they are moving on the same track